Guys, I'm gonna to talk to you today about hook lift trucks and roll off trailers. And I just feel like there's a lot of noise right now about run and roll off trailers and running what makes you more profitable. I get all that stuff. Guys, I don't care if you run a hook lift truck, a cable pull truck, a roll off trailer, a dump trailer, or a fucking hand cart. I really don't care what you run. But I am gonna tell you this, as the guy on YouTube probably creating more hook lift truck videos than anybody, I am gonna tell you seven reasons why a hook lift truck will always be more profitable than a roll off trailer. The first reason guys that I'm gonna tell you that a hook lift truck will always be more profitable is right here. Your biggest expense outside of the truck is fuel. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I ran a trailer and my truck, and most of you guys running trailers are on three quarter ton, one ton trucks. I don't care if it's gas, I don't care if it's diesel. You guys are getting about eight miles to the gallon, maybe nine miles to the gallon, okay? Casey, pop up in here. This truck right now, this truck right now has 13,000, just over 13,000 miles. I have drive time of 103 hours, idle time of 99 hours. This isn't a conversation or a video about idle time. I'm a big idle guy. But if you look at that, I have almost as many idle hours as I do drive time, 10.7 miles to the gallon. 10.7. Guys, that is well over 20% better fuel mileage in a hook lift truck. And guys, the reason for it is, you're always gonna get better fuel mileage. And guys, remember too, this is a Packard PX9. This is a 360 horsepower motor. This is the same motor they put in a lot of full-size trucks. And I'm getting that kind of fuel mileage better than I was in the Duramax. And one of the reasons is, guys, one of the biggest reasons is, anytime you carry a load versus pull a load, you're gonna get better fuel mileage. So guys, I'm telling you right now, number one reason that this truck will always be more profitable than a roll-off trailer is, you can't compare the fuel mileage. You can't touch the fuel mileage. Look how many miles you drive a year. Look at how much you pay per gallon. Look at how many gallons a year you pump in. How would you like to add 20% to your bottom line? That's a big reason right there, just the fuel. Before I get on with the rest of my list, I'm gonna have Casey show you this tarp cutout for the hook lift. Guys, if you don't, if you're not running a tarp with a, a hook cut out for the A-frame and for the hook, this is an absolute game changer. George over at United Tarps, hell of visionary guy. Great, great, great product. He's the one making these tarps for me. Uh, it's his idea, he came up with it. It is absolutely a game changer. Because like this right here, this is one of my dirt concrete dumpsters. This is one of the smaller ones, one of the seven cubic yard. And I can still use my main gantry tarp and the arms and everything. Just one bungee cord here on the front and on the other side. And look how well that thing tarps at. That thing is absolutely dialed in. That's a Black Widow. Yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> I gotta spray that thing with some WD-40. Should I spray him with some WD? Dude, look at that. Look at all that on the door. <laughs> All right, number two guys on my list for reasons why a hook lift truck will always be more profitable than a roll off trailer. Guys, a hook lift truck, plain and simple, is faster. And in this business, just like any business, time is money. I don't care what system you have, I don't care what roll off trailer you have, a hook lift truck is faster. And any time you can take away time 
and do the same job that somebody else is doing and do it much, much faster, you're more efficient, you're gonna be more profitable. Guys, not to mention with the trailers, all the charging systems, I know some of you guys charge them off your trucks, I know some of you guys are charging them at night. Again, this isn't to throw shade on trailers. It's really not. But th what this is, is to kind of set the record straight because I feel like there's a lot of guys out there right now that are just kind of, it's almost like the, the Me Too movement where guys are just like, oh no, it's fine. Hook lift trucks are overrated. They're not overrated guys. It's a tool and it's the latest greatest tool out there and it's a tool to help you do your job to be more efficient. If you're more efficient, you can charge more money. If you charge more money, you can be more profitable. Number three, a hook lift truck without question can get in tighter spaces than a roll off trailer. I don't care who you are, I don't care how good you are at backing, I don't care how good you are at jackknifing. A hook lift truck can get in the tightest space. Tighter spaces than cable trucks, tighter spaces than roll off trailers. A hook lift truck can get into the tightest spaces of anything in the industry. That in itself, you guys heard me talk about this before. I'm located downtown Salt Lake City. We do a lot of crazy stuff. I'm in alleys. I'm in parking structures. I'm in the bottom of parking structures, the roof of parking structures. I'm getting requests every week to put dumpsters inside garages and back them around corners and just do all this silly stuff. But the hook lift truck, you can get in the tight spaces. We did a video earlier in the year. I'll have Casey throw up, Casey throw up that video where we show that you can actually pull a dumpster out in between two cars that have it blocked. It's from another video, guys, but it's very pertinent to what I'm talking about right now. This is, in itself, a reason to own a hook lift truck. The amount of spaces you can put a dumpster into and recover a dumpster out of. There was another video this week of somebody on YouTube talking about hook lift trucks and, you know, just, are they overrated? They're just, you know, they're expensive. You don't need them. Guys, I want you to think about this for a minute. When was the last time you saw somebody selling a hook lift truck saying they were going back to a trailer? It doesn't happen. The, the growth, the scalability, the ease, the professionalism, the efficiency, everything goes from trailer to hook lift truck. Again, I don't care if you don't run a hook lift truck. That's not what this video is about. This video though, is to kind of like be the moral voice of hook lift trucks and put the truth out there. Why so many guys are on hook lift trucks. It's because you will always be more profitable. All right guys, coming in at number four, you guys can fight me in my comments on this if you want, but you're not gonna change my mind. A hook lift truck is considerably safer than pulling a trailer. I don't care what statistics you pull, I don't care what trucking form you try and quote. Anytime you're hauling something on a truck, it is safer than pulling something behind a vehicle. Always, always, always. You get better insurance rates, you have less chance of accidents, incidents, or anything like that. A hook lift truck is without a doubt, this isn't even arguable, safer than pulling a trailer with a dumpster on it behind your pickup truck, behind your minivan, behind anything. It's always safer to haul something than it is to pull something. Number five, a hook lift truck is more scalable. What I mean by scalable, you can scale your business quicker, easier, more efficient, more streamlined with the hook lift truck than you can with a trailer. 
I know there's going to be some of you guys that are like, I own 42 trailers and 700 Max D containers. Good for you. But I'm telling you right now, there's a reason that all the large fleets don't run trailers, okay? You can scale with a hook lift truck much easier. Guys, not even to mention dumpsters. If you run a hook lift truck, you can literally find dumpsters almost anywhere in a dumpster manufacturer in almost every city and town. If you guys are on roll off trailers, you guys are really bound. Now I know there's some dumpster builders now starting to build Max D and PJ and Lone Star and Raw Max and all these other ones. I know they're starting to build them, but nothing, absolutely nothing like the hook lift community has. The hook lift community has so many options to buy, tra to buy dumpsters. It just is more scalable. So if you want to scale your business or you're not even sure, don't close the door on that option. And when you go to hook lift truck, you have so many more options to scale your business than trying to do it with a trailer and a roll off package. All right, number six guys, tires and maintenance. On my Peterbilt, it's simple math guys, I run six tires. On your setup, if you're running just a two axle, you're running eight tires. Okay, if you're running a dually and a triple axle, you're running 12 tires. You're running twice the amount of tires than I'm running on the ground. And I can hear you guys already, yeah, but I can buy a tire for $95 for my trailer. You're right. And in three days, you're gonna post on Facebook, hey, who's got the best tires? Tore up another tire today at the landfill. Tore up another tire, you know, jackknife in this trailer, whatever it is. And I'm not saying hook lift trucks. Look, there's shitty tires out there and there's good tires out there, but it's simple math. If I can put six tires on the ground instead of eight tires, 10 tires, or 12 tires, that's more money in my pocket. I'm a, I'm a believer if I buy the best tire. Just so you guys know, I run Continentals on my Peterbilt. Those are not cheap tires. But you know what? You get what you pay for. And I think in tires, it's more true than anything. You get what you pay for. So I'm gonna spend the money, I'm gonna buy six big dollar tires, and then I'm gonna run it, forget about it. Long as I watch where I'm driving down the road, I don't pick up a, a piece of shank metal, I don't pick up a bolt, anything like that. I'm gonna be very careful, but as you guys know, I'm a pretty careful driver. I know my moves. I'm just careful with how I operate the truck, where I put the tires. But guys, very, very plain and simple. Six tires versus eight, 10, or 12, it's money in your pocket. That makes you more profitable. Number seven, I don't care what argument you try and make to me. And I, I, I read the comments all the time. You think your customers don't care, it's just a dumpster. For your clientele base, that might be true. For my clientele base and what I'm building and what customers repeat come back to me, I'm fishing in a very, very different pond, I guess, because my customers care. And I'm gonna tell you this, guys, I mentioned this in a previous video and I'm gonna mention it again. When I pulled up on a job site with a trailer, it never once got said to me, but it got implied multiple times. You're running a trailer, why well, could have done that? It really makes it hard to get top dollar rates and be taken credible with some of these guys when you're running a trailer. And it's not to, it's not to throw shade at you guys. It's just, it is what it is. When you pull up with a piece of equipment that the roofer, the landscaper, the contractor, the drywaller, the general contractor doesn't have, and those guys all have trailers, so they don't view your trailer as being special or being any different than what they can do. So that holds downward pressure on your price. 
you pull up with a specialty piece of equipment like a hook lift truck, those conversations, those that part of it goes away. I believe guys with hook lift trucks can charge more money. Yeah. I do, guys. And, and, and I, I started charging more money when I went on hook lift trucks because, guys, I'm bringing a tool to the party that they don't have. I can do things with my dumpster they can't do with their trailer. I can do things, I can put that dumpster places they can't put a trailer. That brings value. And value is where you can charge more. So guys, again, I just, I wanna reiterate, I don't care if you're on cable pull, hook lift, roll off trailer, dumpster, hand cart, wagon, I don't care. But you guys should know, there's a reason that this whole movement is going rapid speed towards hook lift trucks, because they are, they do make you more profitable. They absolutely do. And it's, it's undisputed. I'm gonna give you guys two bonus things about hook lift trucks that weren't even on my list of seven reasons to make you more profitable. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you two. Number one, resell. Without a doubt, you're gonna get better resell on a hook lift truck than you are on a trailer in cans. And nobody can argue this with me. You just can't. You got manufacturers out there right now selling a trailer in a three bin package for 10 grand, 10 grand less than probably what some of you guys bought them for. Why? Saturated market. They got to move them. They got to get rid of them. Hook lift trucks will always get you better dollar for dollar than a roll off trailer. And my last bonus, and this right here, if you're, if you're the kind of person that like peace of mind, you want to do things by the book, you want to, you want to be legal on all aspects. And I believe most of you guys are, I believe most everybody wants to do it the right way. They want to do it the legal way and everything else like that. This last reason is reason enough to be on a hook lift and off a trailer. I read the comments on trailers in Facebook and nobody can give a straight answer on CDL. Nobody. This isn't me talking about CDL on trucks and trailers, but I can promise you this. If you buy a D-rated hook lift truck under 26,000 pounds, there isn't a state that will argue with you that you are under CDL. So for all you guys that do all this arguing about, oh, you need a CDL, you don't, Oh, in California, if you're over 10,000 pounds, you need one. Oh, in my state, you don't. All that bullshit goes away if you buy a D-rated hook lift truck. That is the, that in itself, all these reasons are great reasons and profitable reasons to own a hook lift truck. I'm not telling you guys run out there and buy a hook lift truck, but what I am telling you is this. A hook lift truck is the latest technology. It is the best technology for our industry, okay? If you're one of the guys out there saying that, oh, pooey on the hook lift and all that, that's fine. If you don't wanna make the commitment in equipment, if you don't wanna make the investment in your business, if you don't wanna make the purchase of the best tool out there to do your job, that's fine. But at least be honest about it. Don't go out there and just like talking shit all over hook lift trucks and like, oh, they're expensive. My trailer can do everything your hook lift truck can. Bullshit, it can't. You know it can't, I know it can't, and everybody else knows it can't. So guys, if you want to take your business to the next level, you need to have a real strong look in the mirror, have a serious conversation with yourself, and ask yourself like, do I want to make the investment in the, in the right tool? Do I want to make the investment in the best tool for doing my job? If you do, hook lift trucks where you're at. All right, guys, we got some industry news coming up. Is it too late to roll the intro? Probably. All right. Yeah, but Casey's been working on an intro and he told me it's new. So I want to see the intro. So 
We might roll the intro right here, even though it's close to the end. But I got some industry news, talk about the Lone Star Dumpster Showcase. But first, Casey and I got to make a quick stop, and then we'll talk about the Lone Star Dumpster Showcase. Catch you in a few. How you doing, boss? Do you work here? Yes. Looking for a cowboy hat. Oh, yeah. What do you think, I Casey? I don't know. Okay. Like that gray one right there. Yeah, let me see that one. How do I know the front? Front this way? Yeah. Oh, it's big. It's too big, yeah. Oh, yeah, I need a small one. Maybe. That's, that one looks pretty good. What do you think, Casey? Like one. Like the... Oh, that's big. I don't. That's a little big for me. Yeah, just like. I cut it if you want. Oh, you cut it? What? Let's try on one of these. I just like the shape of it. Are you getting all these? Me trying on all these different hats? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big hat right there. I like it. That's big. You like that one? All right, what else you got? Oh, I got to find it. I kind of like that one. What else you got, hat wise? I'll show you a brim. Yeah, yeah, a little bit shorter. Yeah, let me see that one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a big hat. That's tall. Are you looking for a small one? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's tall. This is like a, a cowboy hat. It's a big hat. Hold on. Let's leave this one down. I kind of like this one too, though. No, I kind of like this one too, though. I like the shape on that one. Texas. It's borderline a sombrero. It's big. It's big. Do you? All right, let's see. Let's see what else we got, though. What other hats are there? Snake skin. No, I'm not buying a snake skin hat. Yeah, let's see that one. Let's try this one right here. Tombstone. Oh, that's pretty true. Cool. I do like that hat. Yeah. That's my favorite one so far. All right, guys. November 11th. Rome, Texas, the Lone Star Dumpster Showcase. Guys, get there. It's free. If you want to network, if you want to learn, if you just want to be in the room with some of the guys that help shape this industry, you guys need to get to Rome. It's being put on at Keystone, a uh, big dumpster manufacturer down there. I'll have Casey put up all the details. Guys, you gotta be living under a rock to not know that this event's about to happen. And I've been talking about it, Josh Roman's been talking about it, Clayton's been talking about it, Joey's been talking about it, Darko's been talking about it, Keystone's been talking about it, everybody's been talking about it. No charge, one day, November 11th, Rome, Texas. Besides, gotta come down, see which one of these hats I actually end up buying and taking to Texas. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys. Um, thank you. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching everything else. I'll see you guys in Texas. Casey, going to Texas? Casey's going to Texas. That right there in itself. Come meet, come meet Casey in Texas. We'll see you guys.